And next up, we are joined by an American artist who's thinking of new rituals. Please welcome the creative director of Jumpstar, George Ferrandi. As an artist who spent most of my life in East Coast cities, I never really saw the stars until I spent some time in the mountains where the night sky was so spectacular, I bought a book by H.A. and Margaret Ray to help me understand what I was seeing. In it, I learned about axial precession, a very slow wobble in Earth's rotation that means while our polar axis currently points to Polaris, in a thousand years, it will point to another star. In other words, our literal and figurative guiding light, our North Star, which has come to symbolize the single thing that never changes, will change. But of course it will. The universe is change. What I want to know is, how will we commemorate that change? We have a huge party every time the Earth makes one rotation around the sun. Fancy clothes, sparkly drinks, we lament the past, predict the future, for an event that happens every year. Surely there'll be an unforgettable celebration to acknowledge the star that for centuries led ships to shore and enslaved people to freedom. Who will write the songs for that occasion? Will the UN organize a committee? Will NASA? Who will plan the party to say goodbye to our North Star? And when will they start? Which begs the question, what if it's us? And what if we start now? And this is the premise of Jumpstar, a multidisciplinary initiative that brings artists, musicians, and scientists together with communities to invent traditions that can be passed through the generations to say goodbye to Polaris and hello to Gamma Cephei. The whole project is named in honor of Annie Jump Cannon, the remarkable deaf Harford astronomer who established our star classification system, which was officially adopted 100 years ago this week. And the way it works is through a series of dream storming workshops we call constellates. Each constellate is dedicated to researching and inventing one aspect of future culture. A song, a healing ceremony, a celebratory snack. For our dance constellate in Kansas, for example, local performers working in a range of styles each contributed a gesture that our choreographer then incorporated into an experimental version of a barn dance, which is a style beloved in that particular region. For our future foods constellate, our climatologist explains how climate change will affect what agriculture will be viable in the region in a thousand years. And then participants work with local chefs to invent new recipes using those ingredients, like cricket flour to make chocolate chirp cookies. I've been researching all the stars that are in our cycle of future North Stars and have developed characters for each of them based on how they're described by various cultures through history. And then with communities around the country, I'm designing and building ceremonial sculptures to represent these future North Stars using a te technique traditional in a Japanese festival called Mabuta, which was itself once a star festival. The sculptures have lightweight wooden armatures and wire frames with paper skins, and they're illuminated from the inside. Clockwise from the left is Deneb, the Indestructibles, Theta Buddhist, AKA Boots, Thuban, and Vega. And they're all designed to be danced by teams of community participants we call dark matter, since dark matter is what holds up the stars. Here we have Polaris, Gamma Cephei, Ruffled Ethi Shemali, Alpha Waris, and Alderaman. And they were all to be part of Jumpstar's inaugural ceremony in Kansas, but they haven't had their premiere yet. A few hours after our rehearsal and these photos, a tornado destroyed the surrounding tents. Somehow our tent and the very fragile paper sculptures survived unscathed, but only the dark matter volunteers have ever seen them in person. So we're still inventing the celebration and wondering where the first ever Jumpstar ceremony will be, but we're not wondering why it's important. It can be easier to imagine apocalypse than to look to the future with hope. But as the Long Now community knows, our visions for the future are the very tools that will help us build it. Jumpstar offers the promise of a party and the celestial moment as playful strategies for forging those tools with the questions, what do we need to repair and prepare in the present before we can host the future? 
how do we get our house in order before the holiday? It lets us look forward with love to the resilient civilizations of the future, take action to ensure them a livable world, and plan the party that will celebrate their survival. Thank you so much for listening, and thank you to The Long Now for presenting. Thank you, George. When you were uh, creating this ritual, what are some of the ideas that you discarded? Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, the, the whole project kind of grows from the inside out. And so what makes it to the table is what has meaning to the people in the room. So what what I select or discard isn't as important as kind of what we come to by consensus in each of the communities. All right. Well, thank you for being with us today, George.